It's not often I get to see downtown like this. Got an early morning shoot right in the middle of downtown Dallas. Two days, should be pretty easy. I finally struck some gold on Production Hub. I haven't had a lot of luck on there. I don't know if it's just an influx of people and my stuff's not getting seen, if I'm not writing up a very good proposal or what it is, but I don't often hear back from the people that I send and bids for on jobs. This one was a little different. I finally got a call back, uh, which is always such a good boast of confidence. It feels so good to not only get that message back, but then to actually go through and get the job. This one was basically PA slash gaff slash cam op. It was basically someone just needing somebody there to help manage all these interviews that we had coming through. This is all corporate interviews at an event up in a presidential suite at one of the hotels in downtown Dallas. It was a beautiful view and it was shot on these black magic cameras, which thankfully I am familiar with. I do have a lot of background in those. And I basically just showed up to the lights already being set up and ready to go. The cameras being set up and ready to go. And I was just tasked with moving them around whenever we wanted to shift the view or the lighting. Um, I manned the second camera during the interviews just to make sure the framing was good and stuff like that. It was sort of an older gentleman that had hired me for this job, someone who's been in the business for a while. And it was really cool to kind of talk to him throughout those two days and just learn a little bit about you know, the industry, where it's at now, where it was at, just getting some good tips on just how to grow my business and move forward being a freelancer. Not a bad breakfast. In case you live under a rock, there was a lunar eclipse that happened not too long ago. Being in Dallas, I was uh, in the perfect path to view it. And thankfully, uh, the guys that hired me and the creative agency that hired us wanted to view the eclipse. So they actually took an hour break um, after lunch. So we actually got an hour and a half break that day to go and watch the eclipse. They gave me glasses. You know, they let me eat the snacks that they were providing and all in all, and it crazy experience i didn't think much of a lunar eclipse but watching that especially in the middle of downtown around a bunch of people was something that i just like kind of can't explain and i didn't really expect it was just insane to watch at like two in the afternoon downtown dallas just go black all the lights go on and then they just basically popped right back on from solar eclipse to being in a live action twister movie Every now and again on these shoots, you come across something that I just feel like I have to share. And this is one of those things. I've never heard of this called the iDirect. And the guy who hired me, his buddy is actually the owner and founder of this company. And basically the way it works is it has two mirrors. And so whenever you are interviewing somebody, you position yourself to where they can see you right where they're looking down the barrel of the lens. And so for these interviews, they wanted uh, like center framing and them talking into the lens. And with this eye direct thing, you're able to do that without the person that you're interviewing feeling weird that they have to look at the lens while you're looking off to the right. So the whole time that they're talking into the lens, they're looking straight into your eyes. I thought this was genius and a little expensive. I think they go for about $1,400. And like you see here, he's talking directly into the camera, but he's never losing eye contact. So here's kind of a better showcase. Again, she's talking through him through the mirror and he is responding back to her through the mirror as well. But keeping that eye contact with the middle of the frame. In my last vlog, I talked about how I really strive to be an asset on set. And the reason I say that is because when I'm on set, I want to be the biggest help I can possibly be. The shoot was a little different. I felt like I didn't do much because everything was already set up when I was there. But even at the end of it, you know, the guy who hired me let me know that I was a help on set and that he would definitely hire me back. And that is always something you want to hear. Even though it wasn't the hardest shoot, I still want to put my best foot forward and be as useful as possible. Spent 12 grand last year on equipment. But as I say that, I've been wanting the 300C for so long. I think it would complement my 200X very nicely. And I want to get the spotlight attachment as well so I can start using the gobos and whatnot for interviews and different things. And I've been asked a couple times now if I have the ability to do this. So I don't know. Really debating pulling the trigger on this. Last night I watched your uh, your vlog. I'm not a gaffer. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, oh my goodness, I'm gonna ask him to be a gaffer. That's so funny. All right, man. Thank you so much for your time. Happy to have you on board, and I'm really excited to move forward with you. All right. Yeah, dude. Thanks for even. Uh 
you know, giving me the opportunity and, and whatever. And I'm excited and hopefully this works out great. Let's try and find the Cook logo on the lenses because those, oh. are, those are brand spanking new. This is like the third job they've ever been out on. Wow. Here. Oh yeah. People show off their Lambos. We show off our Cook lenses. Oh, I got something in my head. And I need you now tonight.